At Sun and Fun, close to 2,000 military, experimental, warbird, and general aviation aircraft will all arrive within hours of each other. It is imperative that these procedures be followed for a safe arrival. There are two parts to this video, the arrival procedure and the holding instructions. Make sure you watch the entire program. This procedure is to be used by all VFR aircraft landing at Kilo Lima Alpha Lima during the sun and fun fly-in. Now, let's get to the fun part. Let's go to sun and fun. Refer to the NOTAM for arrival frequency and tune to arrival ATIS no later than 60 miles from Kilo Lima Alpha Lima and note arrival runway in use. Then monitor Lake Parker arrival on 124.5. At 40 miles out, turn on your nav and landing lights. Make sure your transponder is on throughout the approach. The actual approach begins at Fantasy of Flight. Real-time changes to the starting point Victor Papa Foxtrot Sierra Yankee may be made on the Lake Parker approach frequency. Remember, throughout the approach, all aircraft must maintain 100 knots at 1,200 feet MSL. Aircraft unable to safely slow to this speed should maintain 150 knots at 1,700 feet MSL. Twins maintain an altitude of 2,200 feet MSL. Proceed to Fantasy of Flight located north of I-4 and east of Lake Agnes from the north, northeast, east, or southeast. From Fantasy of Flight, fly 2.8 nautical miles southwest bound towards SunTrack's Racetrack Test Facility. Pass SunTrack's Racetrack Test Facility and continue towards the north shore of Lake Parker. If the middle of nowhere transition is in effect, you may be asked to begin the approach at the middle of nowhere, which is 8 nautical miles northwest of Fantasy of Flight and begin the approach from there. If possible, follow an aircraft of similar type and speed. Remain at least one half mile in trail behind the aircraft you are following. Do not overtake another aircraft and do not S-turn to follow another aircraft. If you are too fast, break off the procedure and proceed back to the starting point. As you arrive at Lake Parker, ensure your landing lights are on and your landing gear is down. Fly westbound over the north shore of Lake Parker. The power plant smokestack with white strobe lights is located at the north side of Lake Parker. Fly between the main power plant building and the large smokestack, keeping the smokestack off your right wing. ATC will contact you in the vicinity of Lake Parker's North Shore, using your aircraft color and type to provide sequencing and other arrival information. ATC may ask you to rock your wings as an acknowledgement for instructions. Do not transmit unless requested by ATC or if you have an emergency. Remember, remain in trail to the airport, no side-by-side -side with other aircraft. From the north shore, depart the power plant flying westbound. You will see baseball fields to your south. Follow the road north of the baseball fields. Continue westbound approximately one half nautical mile toward the intersection of Interstate I-4 and a four-lane road. At the intersection of Interstate I-4 and the four-lane road, turn southwest following Interstate I-4 approximately three nautical miles. Turn southbound, keeping the golf course and cake tower to your east and the white water tower to your west. Kilo Lima Alpha Lima is approximately 3.5 nautical miles south of you. Fly southbound toward the large V-shaped building. 
the blue-roofed airport terminal building at Kilo Lima Alpha Lima is directly south of the large V-shaped building. Refer to the NOTAM for frequencies and monitor Lakeland Tower North after making your turn southbound toward the Blue Roof Terminal. Make sure to listen to ATC instructions. At this point in the arrival procedure, you will know what runway you will be landing on. It will either be 10 left or 28 right. Both runways are actually taxiway alpha converted to runways for the sun and fun fly-in, so they will be thinner than normal runways. They will also have a green and orange dot about a third of the way down the runway. These dots will be your landing markers. Be alert for numerous aircraft in the pattern and other air ground operations. Overfly the large V-shaped building. Continue toward the blue roofed airport terminal building. Prior to the airport terminal building, start planning your downwind turn to the left for runway 28 or to the right for runway 10. As you are planning your landing, keep this in mind. In the event of a go-around, do not deviate south of the runway. As you turn final, the displaced thresholds are indicated by banners on each side of the runways. On short final, you will be instructed by the tower controller to land on either the orange or the green dot. Remember, these are actual taxiways that have been converted to runways for sun and fun. Do not land on the main wide runway 10 right, 28 left, unless specifically instructed by ATC. Once you land, do not stop on the runway high-speed taxi to the end of the runway or follow ATC instructions. Use caution when taxiing due to the high volume of aircraft, vehicles, and personnel. Refer to the NOTAM for the sun and fun ground advisory frequency and monitor ground. Now, that's landing at sun and fun. We have one more thing to go over, the VFR holding procedure. If a VFR hold is necessary, ATC will instruct aircraft over the North Shore power plant of Lake Parker to turn right and proceed northbound to I-4, then follow I-4 northeast back to the starting point at Fantasy of Flight and start the Lake Parker VFR arrival procedure again. When holding, maintain 1,200 feet MSL, 100 knots or less, 1,700 feet MSL, 150 knots, or 2,200 feet MSL for twin engine aircraft regardless of airspeed. If you are following an aircraft, continue single file back to the starting point. ATC will discontinue new aircraft into the hold when the hold becomes saturated. If you have not already joined the hold at this time, find a spot north of the arrival area to hold using left-hand turns over the ground until ATC advises you to begin the procedure. Use caution for other aircraft. When Lakeland Airport resumes arrivals, aircraft will be directed to continue the procedure when over the North Shore power plant. ATC may instruct to hold counterclockwise left-hand turns around Lake Parker. Review this video and chairfly this approach procedure as well as the VFR holding procedure. Becoming familiar with all aspects of this procedure will guarantee a safe arrival and a great time at Sun and Fun.